What is up guys, Angelo Ramos here, and today I'm going to show you how to do a cinemagraph or a moving picture in Final Cut Pro 10. A cinemagraph is basically a video where everything in the frame is still except for one part that is moving. Before we jump into the video, I just want to ask you guys to hit that like button below. Let's get this video to 100 likes. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe to see more Final Cut tutorials, filmmaking tutorials, camera gear reviews, and travel films in the future. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is make sure that you have a clip that is properly recorded to be used in a cinemagraph. What I mean by this is that you're either using a tripod or an extremely flat surface to record this video. If there's even a slight movement in the camera, this effect will not work at all. Next, find where you want to start your loop and press Command V to blade. Find where you want the clip to end and blade again. Delete your extra stuff. Then use Option F to freeze frame the beginning of the clip. Stretch this freeze frame out for how long you want the cinemagraph to last. I'm just going to do 10 seconds. Drag this clip underneath. And then use Command C and Command V to copy and paste this clip a bunch of times until it matches up with your freeze frame. Now add a draw mask to your freeze frame and then what we have to do is mask out the part that will be moving in this cinemagraph. So when we mask we want to put our control points as close and as precise as possible to the part that's moving. So I would recommend zooming in to about 50% and mask out the part that's moving. Once you've finished masking your freeze frame, make sure you go into the inspector and select invert mask. And just like that, you have this really cool cinemagraph effect that you can use on Instagram or Twitter or whatever to bring your pictures to life. As always, if you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it, be sure to drop a like and comment below what tutorial I should do next. Hit that subscribe button to see more tutorials like this in the future, and I'll see you guys later. Oh,